So this is ACX, where people go to upload their Audible uh, audio books to Audible and make a lot of money. And this is right here. This is Kindle Direct Publishing, uh, Amazon's platform where you can sell the printable, the uh, digital, and the uh, you know hardback copies of your book as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a custom GPT that will be a guide, like it will be a guru to anybody that's trying to create a best-selling book but might have writer's block, okay? So first of all, they, you're gonna need um, chat GPT-4 or plus, okay? We're gonna go to explore. Then we're going to create a GPT. I don't mind showing you guys this because the world is large and I'm pretty sure you have communities in your city where you can help people. You know what I'm saying? There's no shortage of getting this information out. Is a McDonald's, is a Burger King, is a Taco Bell. Just because I am showing you how to do this doesn't mean we're creating competition. You'll be able to make money from this. So how will you be able to monetize this custom GPT uh, that you're building for Audible and um, Amazon KDP? You're going to charge for a subscription. OK, so this will eliminate writer's block. OK, so the first thing we want to do is we want to tell that's exactly what we want to do. We want to build a GPT that will <clears throat> eliminate writer's block for all authors. This GPT will use the uh, uh, patterns, patterns as far as ideas, uh, styles, writing styles, and title structures to help authors come up with the best selling ideas ever. Or books. Okay, so before we move on, guys, I'm going to show you how to monetize this as well. Okay, so if you haven't done a Jeet Kune Do style Jet Li sidekick to the subscription button, you don't want to miss a thing like Aerosmith. So go ahead and do that so you can come back and see the next follow up video when we show you uh, what else we can do with these custom GPTs. Okay, we're trying to make you some money here. So make sure you watch this to the end. This is not just some entertainment type thing, this is to put money in your pocket okay all right so best-selling book blah 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 uh we're going to um leverage the the historical greats uh, and best sellers to identify what readers are actually interested in okay so that's what this is okay so we're going to eliminate writers block and we're going to help them come up with best-selling ideas with this tool and everything like that all right so we're going to press continue if anything else comes up as far as what you can think of because it's like just turning 5 a.m. in the morning for me right now, and I'm still kind of like out of it, guys. <laughs> I ate bad food last night, and I shouldn't have, so I'm not myself right now. Um, yeah, so I might have to like come back and edit this. Of course, I probably will. So it's asking me what I want the name of it to be. No, we're not going to name it Literary Muse. That sucks. Okay, no. The name is going to be a uh, writer. I'm trying to go back and forth between book or <laughs> writer. Now nah, it's a like book Miyagi. Book Miyagi. Or author of Miyagi. Mm. Like I said, we can come back. We can come back. So I'm putting Miyagi for everything that has to do, for every custom GPT that has to do with teaching people stuff. So what we have to do, guys, is we have to feed 
this custom GPT everything it needs to know about being an author. Uh, we're going to have to feed it some content about why the best selling books are the best selling books. Um, okay. It needs to have more of a guru look. <clears throat> okay. So I don't really like this. So this is the the logo or the profile for it. That's what they're trying to get you to be satisfied with, but I'm telling it to uh, try again, try again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start feeding uh, the custom GPT what it needs. Now, okay, yeah, that's perfect. That looks that looks good, guys. So just don't be afraid. Like this is you making an order. This is an employee. You tell them to get the job done and don't come back until it's finished. You hear me? So <laughs> crack the whip. Okay, so here we go. Yes. I love this one. Continue, please. All right, so now what we need to do is start gathering information. Like I said before, uh, when they are done, they will be uploading to ACH. I mean, uh, ACX, I mean, and uh, KDP with their books. So we can close that out. So what I did was I Googled who are the best book authors of all time. We're going to feed that into uh, the GPT as well. Now, let me open up a doc. You want to have a doc open so you can create a document that you're going to upload to the configuration uh, portal on the next page. Let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. Okay, baby. Okay, so is it asking us something else? So fantastic. I'm glad uh, you love the new profile picture, blah, blah, blah. Let's refine the context regarding his role and establish and overcoming writer's block by providing inspiration, ideas, and guidance. Okay. To further define its capabilities, should Miyagi also analyze the user's writing style uh, to provide personalized suggestions? Yes. I hold on. Yes. Can y'all see that? Yes, I definitely want it to critique the user's writing style plus its idea. I mean, plus their idea. <laughs> Ideas. I want you to ask the user to upload a sample of their audio file or script for their book and give them constructive criticism or positive feedback if it's good. Yeah. Boom. So this is awesome. See, now I'm starting to wake up. My creative juices are flowing. <laughs> I hate when people say that. Okay. So while that's doing that, let's come over here to the configure style. So this is where we're going to be able to upload um, anything that we're programming docu this, uh, this custom GPT with. So for example, we're going to go ahead and place this in the document right now. So we're going to name it Everything Book Miyagi Needs to Know About Great Authors and Writing Styles. Okay, so that's the title. Now I'm going to put these top 10 authors and all of that crap right there. I know that it's subjective, might not be true, right? But we're just going off of what Google is telling us because we ain't got time to go and gather the information ourselves right now. Okay, so <clears throat> we can take a list of best-selling fiction authors right here. And you're like, okay, so how am I going to copy all of this? We're not going to copy that. Okay, let me come over. Let's go back to GPT real quick and see what it's asking us. And we'll come back to the configuration part in a minute. 
when it's time to gather more information. So now it says personalized critiques of users, writing styles and ideas, encouraging them to upload samples of their work and detailed analysis. This approach will help authors re refine their storytelling abilities and enhance their work. Man, this is going to be crazy. I'm, yo, if you do it like this, you can definitely charge some type of uh, uh, subscription, some little small subscription. And then when they're on your list, upsell them something more high ticket, like a, a, a book writing boot camp. You understand? Or a coaching session with an actual author. You're like, oh, coaching session with an actual author. Well, we'll go to Google real quick. Then we'll type in authors. And then we'll say Los Angeles. Look at this. Okay, so you can literally search for authors in, in a city, right? Like authors. And we can find, let's say, in Chicago. Boom. So it tells you who the authors are from the specific cities. And let's see. Yep. So you can just reach out to them and contact them and see if they want to be interviewed or do, uh, uh, you know, you can sell the interviews too as well. All type of stuff you can do. You can just use this as a lead magnet, right? To help these authors. Okay. So it says um, this approach will help them. Okay. Now let's discuss the type of responses. Are there any specific topics or styles of feedback that should be off limits for instance should it steer clear of overly harsh criticism yeah don't be too harsh try to stay on the friendly but straight forward side of things okay yeah, because you don't want them to you don't want them to upload their work to this custom GPT and they say, man, your book sucks, homie. You hear me? <laughs> then we can we can get people to like give up. People start giving up on it, right? We don't want them to give up on their dreams and stuff. We don't want to be the cause of that. We shouldn't be too strong enough to do that. But you know, sometimes people are weak, right? All right, now let's consider the personalization aspect. How would you like Book Miyagi to interact with users? Should it have a specific personality trait like being humorous or scholarly? Uh, or should it adapt the tone based to the user's style? Try to adapt to the user's style. But uh, always emphasize major points using uh, metaphors, analogies, and references to popular figures and events in time that are relevant. Okay, so we're really giving it a personality, making it like valuable, making it to where they'll really want to use it and all of that stuff. What really makes this valuable, guys, is this right here. <clears throat> they have a feature to only share this with people that have a link. That's how you're going to be able to create the subscription, a private subscription, instead of it just going public where anybody can use it. I know a lot of you guys think you'll make I'm going to make a lot of money if I upload it kind of how like you upload it to the uh, the Apple store. Yeah, when you're, listen, it's so low barrier to entry right now. A million people are making uh, custom GPTs and, and there's never been a, an easier time to do stuff like this. So like when you're on the platform, it's uncontrolled. You have to depend on their search 
uh, uh, capabilities. You know, you have to depend on what number they rank your custom GPT and all of that, whether somebody even uses it, right? And I don't even know how much they're going to pay you for it. But if you own the asset, I mean, I know it's still on their platform, but if you uh, own access to the asset, at least control it, then you control how much money you make. It, what if ChatGPT only wants to pay you um, 30 cent per visitor? Um, well, if you do this, uh, you know, and create a channel around your custom GPT for the authors or something like that, you can charge the authors 30, 30 bucks a month to use this. Or that's more than what Chat GPT is charging. You can charge them ten, fifteen dollars a month to use it uh, on top of the coaching and guidance that you're going to be able to upsell them to, and all of that extra stuff, guys. So that's that's what's going to be so powerful if you restrict access to it. Okay, so it says um, it just took in what I told it I wanted it to be. Now that we've shaped the context, let's test out it, test it out in the playground. Feel free to. Uh, try any refinements you have in mind. So we're not going to test it out yet because we have to configure it. <clears throat> and that means just adding information. So we're going to get list of best-selling fiction authors right here. Now, like I said, this is a lot. Are we going to copy this? No, we're not going to copy this. We're going to go to tools right here, guys. If you didn't know you can do this, you can, you know, go to tools and you can download as a PDF, and I think we can upload the PDF uh, straight to uh, chat GPT or the custom GPT. Okay, so now let's go stroll down here to where it says upload files. Boom. And now we're going to type in a list of, it should pop up, best. Where is it at, baby? Where is it at? Okay, list of. There it is. Just had to stroll down, man. All right. So as you can see, it is uh, uploading the file and you can upload as many files and documents as you want. You can make it as smart as you want. You want this to be the hub, the go to, the encyclopedia, the dictionary of uh, like, you know, for authors. Like so the more information you put in here and advice, like it will know as much as you want it to know. OK, so now. We can close that out because we uploaded it. Now we have this list of best-selling books, okay? So we're going to feed this into it. Look at all these best-selling books that are in Wikipedia. And Wikipedia knows a lot, y'all. <laughs> so we're going to leverage the fact that they gathered all this information. And we're just going to do the same thing. Go to the download as a PDF. Boom. So now we're getting the best-selling books. We got the best-selling authors. So our custom GPT is going to be way smarter. If you want to, you, you need to do things different from everybody else if you want to stand out. Like a lot of people aren't doing what we're doing right now. Uh, we're cutting, creating a custom GPT for everything. You understand? To be able to help everybody. Okay, so we got the best-selling books. Okay, so you want to get as much information as you possibly can. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, it's almost complete. Are we done yet? No, we're not done. Here's another trick, baby. We're going to come over here because remember, don't forget we got this file. So if that was all we was uploading, why would, even, why would we even open this? Okay, boom. That's the title right here. This is another thing we're going to plug in. So what we want to do now, and this is going to take you some time, guys, because you want to go through all the genres of book writing, fiction, non-fiction, fantasy, like comedy, all, all different types of stuff, you know, biographies, uh, all of that extra stuff. You you want to go through all of that, right? So, you know, you, you want, like I said, you want it to be the go-to. You don't ever want your GPT to come back with an answer talking about, we don't have any training on that, right? You remember how irritating it was when the first uh, version of ChatGPT came out and it was telling you, oh, we're only trained up to the year 2021, so we can't help you. Why do you think they got on a rush to be able to get you to connect to the Internet so that they can be current? Because Bing, Bing was about to get their butt, right? OK, so now <clears throat> or was that Yahoo? I can't remember. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. This is Myron Golden. and He had a pretty good 
a video on how to write a best-selling book. All right, so now we took from Wikipedia, we took from Google. Now we want to take from another search engine where people create like verifiable good content on things that you ask them about. So we're going to get the script. We're getting the script from this and then we're going to paste it on here. And you're going to do that. Like, like I said, set aside a day, okay? You want to set aside an entire day where you're just programming your GPT and you're getting all of the knowledge that you can possibly gather for it because you want it to have an answer for everything. You're, you're going to get videos for, you know, things to do on KDP to like, you know, uh, start getting sales and making people, you know, helping how to rank your book and in, in, in the audible searches and all of that stuff. You want to get all of that so it can be valuable because that's what people are going to be struggling with. They're going to be struggling with all that type of stuff. Okay, how to write a book. <laughs> this one right here. As you can see, this is what I'm doing. All right, so I'm just giving you guys examples, but you, I'm gonna come. You, you know, want to come back through here. You don't want to rush this step, even though I'm rushing it. It's for the, it's for the sakes of this video. You don't want to rush this step. Okay, you want to come in here and take your time and get as many different like answers and styles as you you can you know get you know what i'm saying so let's see we gotta do because the more yours know the more yours will be set apart and different the more yours can do like think about it go and write down go to google and ask um you know what are all the things that uh, uh would help a co uh, an author you know what i'm saying like list all the things that would help an author become a great author you know if it's coaching if it's uh critique if it's some type of some some about that right then you know you want to try to see if your your gpt can imitate whatever it is you know it can't imitate like a like some type of offline uh meeting or anything but as you can see i just told it like just off the top of my head to uh allow them to be able to upload uh little snippets of what they have and then cre uh critique it so it's going to be able to do that that's crazy right all right i sold blank books on amazon that's crazy okay all right so we're getting that. How much money do best selling authors make? Blah, blah, blah. We don't want that. How to write a okay, that's Tim Ferris. That's hello. We want more current up-to-date stuff. How to write and publish. Okay, here we go on Amazon. So it got a little bit more specific. Okay. We'll get this one. And now we're gonna go and get some more uh information about like uh you know audible itself because that's what this is about like how to make money you know selling books you know on audible and everything like that so now we're gonna go and get some information on audible let's see the correct way to write a book with chat gbt i guess we can get this real quick that'll be the last one for that and then we'll switch the search out <clears throat> so guys like I know this can be tedious, and that's why I tell you guys, okay, if you don't want to do this, then hire somebody to do it, but don't rush through this. You can hire somebody for 2 or $3 and have them do this, okay? Go to Fiverr, and, and they'll do this, okay? All right, so how to upload your book. Here we go. Amazon Kindle, um, uh, Amazon KDP Kindle, blah, blah, blah like Google Play, Audible, like you want to get all of those, right? Because it's a book Miyagi, remember? So you want it to like have the answer for all of those, not even just Audible because it's not called an Audible Miyagi, it's called a book Miyagi. So even though this video is titled Make Money with Audible, guys, uh, you want your, your, your custom GPT to, you know, be able to like help with any type of author that comes there, Dependent, uh, no matter what platform they're trying to upload to. All right, so we got that. Then we're going to do the next one, and then we'll, you know, finish out 
the video telling you the next steps. What are the next steps, man? What are the next steps? Okay, so we got ADP. So now we got Audible right here. We'll get this the specific Audible that you guys have been asking about. Yeah, we know, we know. Let's get the link for that. And we got to get some how to make money, how to be found, how to get our book found on Audible, you know, type videos. You hear me? So we got we got to get that too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So as you can see, look how you know much information we have, and we you can just continuously keep going. You know, look at this one. I love this book, uh, this video right here. How to publish your audio book to 45 platforms in minutes. That's a good one. That is a good one. Yes, Lord. Copy the transcript, place that in there. So now what I'm going to do, just for the sake of this, I'll pretend I'm done. But if I was you, if I were you, I would just continue. Like, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep getting more. Like I said, the more you fill this up, you fill this up like crazy. You hear me? It can be smarter than everybody's. Okay. Every thing. Okay, so now, boom, 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 okay. Uh -oh. Where is it at? You are everything. Okay, that is, is not finding it. Where is it at? Okay, here it is. Boom. Okay, so everything Book Miyagi needs to know about becoming a bestseller and all of that stuff. Like, you know, damn. Okay, I should have got some good videos on writer's block. So I'm gonna come back through here, like I said, and add more and everything. So now, guys and gals watching this, uh, what you want to do then is you want to create a custom GPT action and you can connect different tools like Zapier back here. You know what I'm saying? It says, let your GPT retrieve information and take actions outside of chat GPT. So like I said, you can have somebody that is well-versed in Zapier. Uh, like I have somebody do that, so I can't even show you that. Uh, well-versed in Zapier, go ahead and uh, put in all of the information needed right here to be able to collect data and take it off of the platform. User information, user data, user, uh, uh, you know, uh, habits, and all of that so that you can make your app better um, and maybe even get the code off of here if possible so you can make a separate entity. I haven't been able to figure that out yet because they're very good at trying to keep this to themselves, um, but I will figure it out. Okay, so check this out, man. You can also change the conversation starters. That's these things right here. These are little prompts and stuff. You know, provide a plot twist for a mystery novel. What writing style would suit a historical fiction? Help me with a book title that would catch attention. Suggest a story idea based on popular genres. So you can all you can change those based to your liking and everything like that, or based on uh, recommendations of your audience or something. I recommend that you guys create. Once you're done creating your own. Start a channel, some type of channel where people get to go on a journey watching you create a book and sell it and monetize it and everything like that. And as you go along, recommend that they use your tool when they see you coming up with these awesome ideas using your custom GPT and then show them how to make money with it on Audible. OK, all right. Love you guys. Do a gently sidekick to the subscription button if you're new here.